centuries of culture and history provides the backdrop for Italia 90. The ancient architects would have been proud of the futuristic arenas created specially for the tournament. Milan plays host to the opening spectacular, a new San Siro, a fitting platform for the style of the Italians. When the action starts, the style is rugged. Another blow for Argentina with just 10 minutes played against the Soviet Union. The keeper Pompidou collides with a teammate. The result, an agonizing double fracture of the leg. The hand of God's up to its old tricks. Maradona's misdemeanor goes unpunished. Referee Friedrichsen goes home. The corner headed clear by Kidia Tulin. And Artie Kachea showing good skill himself. And that's a dangerous looking ball. Tronio! Yes! Argentina are in front. Naples is delighted. Here's Kanija on the counter attack for the world champions. Burichaga. Trollio. And the referee says play on and play on. They have. A long pump downfield. Shouldn't pose Andoni too many problems, although Miller might hustle him. Miller, Miller scores a goal for Cameroon. It's come from nowhere. Miller still there. Towards Bieck, and Miller comes on the end of it. Can he get two? Roger Miller! Oh. It's his day, all right. the passion and fervour of the Olympic Stadium in Rome. It's home for the Italians in the first phase. And they unveil a new hero. Piali. Great play there. Chilaki! In game two, the Italians survive a scare from the rookies of the United States. It's Zenga to the rescue, twice. Italy win, 1-0. Another scare against Czechoslovakia. What seems a legitimate goal is ruled out for Griga. Now, £8 million man Roberto Baggio weaves his magic. But still, Baggio. Oh, yes. The Scots are up north, based in Genoa. There's Brazil and Sweden to come, but Costa Rica, that looks easy for starters. Marchena coming from his back four role, the excursion forward for him, and he's got himself into a shooting position here, perhaps. Giano's there, and Cayasso! And Cayasso scored! Costa Rica have taken the lead! We have disappointed. The players are shattered about the whole thing. I'm sure our supporters feel exactly the same. And anybody who is out with Scotland who wishes to gloat, well, that's their problem. There's more fodder for the gloaters. Jim Bett and Maurice Johnson are accused of breaking a curfew. A stylish start for Brazil against Sweden. Good play here, and a lovely ball through. Kareka, Kareka, a great chance for the first for Brazil! to him and how clinically he finished it he deserves the samba and his completion is at the back of the area the one curled in but first gets a touch nine minutes of the game left he's got it 
Johnston of Rangers. 2-0 to Scotland. Dangerously on the edge of the box, Salameo with a shot, it's saved, Kareka going in! The Scots hold their heads, having defended so well, and Muller from the sharpest of angles. Roy Aitken, Stuart McKimmy, can Scotland save it yet? That's a good cross coming in, Fleck threw himself at it, knocked in again, Fleck will score! Tapperell somehow got that over. Group D, Milan, the West German headquarters. Klinsmann and Bremer play here for Inter. So does Lothar Matthäus. Matthäus with some space. Supporting play. Boller and Klinsmann. Mateus can go again. Oh, great goal! 4 1 to the Germans against Yugoslavia. Outsiders in Group D are the United Arab Emirates. Every goal scorer gets a Rolls Royce. Colombia, they're looking for a lift off too. In goalkeeper Rene Higuita, they've got one of the characters of the World Cup. More eccentricity from him a bit later on. Van der Elst, Versable, Versable against Herrera, Van der Elst, Schifo might try one, Schifo shot, oh what a shot, what a brilliant goal from Enzo Schifo. South Korea are the minnows in Group E, they can play a bit. Spain call the tune though, thanks to Michel, they win 3-1. Julio Salinas with Fernando and Roberto waiting in the middle. And that is Roberto, couldn't control the header. Chance though for Michel, a hat-trick maybe, oh a great hat-trick too. Three superb goals by Michel. England are off the mainland for the first phase. Group F is centred in Sardinia's capital, Cagliari. Wobble. Played in towards Lenica. It's a goal for England, surely! Gary Lenica! Cascarino battling with Butcher. Sheedy playing it in again, McMahon sitting in there deep, gives it away, Sheedy! 1-1! Oh! What do you feel this means with regard to England's future in this World Cup? Well, it means I think that both of us can still go through. He's got a point, I've got a point, two matches to go. It's not the end of the world, you know, we're, we're, we've got something in the bank, like I said. We had it won, lost it, but um, two more matches to go, we've got to be optimistic. We, we, the play, boys play with spirit, can't argue about that. The newspapers certainly do argue with England's style. Their first performance is greeted with derision. The only consolation is that Holland face problems too. The big names fail to hit the target.
Robson and England need against Egypt is a spark of inspiration. Gascoigne now moving the ball a yard in so that he can get to it. Curled in well there and picked in well by Mark Wright. Hullet takes it on again. Hullet inside the area. Rune gets his first goal of Italia 90. Huge kick again, it really is, and that is always going to put them under pressure. And they've got their equaliser, and they do a little dance of joy. What a moment for the Irish, and what a moment for big Niall Quinn. I'm just delighted that we've got a result, we've, gone, we've qualified through the first group. Terrific, terrific. With the help of violinist Nigel Kennedy, England can relax. Ireland manager Jack Charlton is leaving Sicily for Genoa. The Irish, now big fish in the World Cup pool. The second phase of Italian 90, there are new locations for the majority of the 16 survivors. The likes of Scotland, Sweden and the Soviet Union have gone home. It's real cup football now, only the winners survive. For many, the World Cup starts here. Miller, good turn. Miller inside the penalty area. He gets off the line. He's, done it. He's the only swinger in town. Higuita seems to want to get involved, I do not believe it, he's thrown the chances away now, that's it, 2-0, Roger Miller, and that is always the danger. Valderrama, five minutes of extra time left, Colombia coming and looking for consolation maybe, looking to get back into it with Iguaran. Here's Valderrama, they've really got to try something a little bit different, it might be Valderrama, here's a chance, Colombia have got one back, it's 2-1. And they can't wait to get on with the game. Novlicek trying to turn away here. Two against one. Novlicek wins. Moravcik, a good chip. It's a dangerous ball. The Czechs have taken the lead. And it's Sharabi. Ten minutes into the second half. The introduction of substitute Medford has made a difference to them. They've got a bit of height here as Ramirez puts it in. And they scored. And it's young Gonzalez coming forward from midfield. And it's picked up by Knoflicek again. Knoflicek getting well back and away by Montero. Skirawi has put it in. It's a good one. And Kubik with a beautiful shot. So another corner to the Czechs. And again, a big test for Hermidio Barentes, who doesn't like those crosses at all. And Skarabi has got it. And it's his hat trick. Maradona. Bruchaga. Oh dear, bad ball by him and he's given it away to Kareka. And there's lots of support. Franco moving swiftly down the left. All it needed was a good cross. Oh! How did they get away with that? And again, Argentina, so lucky. Kareka takes on Monzon. That's a dangerous ball. It hit the bar. The keeper misjudged it. It was a brilliant ball. Now Alamau, good effort, oh, again, against the woodwork. 
How unlucky. Maradona for Argentina. Good run by Maradona. And still he goes on. And Kanija! And Kanija could score here! Argentina! One! Brazil nil! Leaving the World Cup hurts. To be beaten after outplaying your fiercest rivals, that's just too much to bear. Now, West Germany against Holland. A magnificent match, scarred by a disgusting early interchange between the German striker Voller and the Dutch defender Rijkaard. The Germans tend to exaggerate fouls. Rijkaard gets the yellow card for that and then compounds his crime. Fuller and the watching millions are appalled. Klinsmann tries to make the peace, but the row simmers on. There's a yellow card for Fuller as he complains at being a human spittoon. Seconds later, Fuller comes second to Van Brokkelen and goes to ground. The Dutchman twists his ear and then treads on him. Both get the red card. Unbelievably, Rijkaard's nauseating display isn't over. He hasn't played for Holland since. Franz Beckenbauer knows Voller must miss the next match. Now it's a tennis side thriller. Here's Buchwald, the big defender. Being tracked by Winter. Litvarski coming up in support. And it's over! West Germany go ahead! Jürgen Klinsmann! Now Bremer. Curling one! So the Germans look as though they're going to go striding on through this competition to face the Czechs a week today here in Milan. And who knows, possibly England after that. Now, what's he done now? He's given a penalty for the foul on Van Basten by Curler. It's 2-1. And the Dutch are out. Jack Charlton smiling through clenched teeth as Romania extend his team to the limit. A goalless two hours, thanks in no small measure to keeper Pat Bonner. Now it's three all on penalties. Bonner crosses himself and calls for a greater power to help him. But he wasn't smiling on him then, although he was mighty close to getting there. Tony Cascarino of Aston Villa will try and beat this man, Lung, the Romanian keeper, to make it 4-4. Long move, it didn't matter. Cascarino hits the back of the net. It is 4-4. Bonner remains still, unlike his opposite number, Lung. He said... Scenes of celebration all round. But it's not over yet. Bonner is the hero. Jack Charlton knows that in the next 30 seconds, Ireland could be in the World Cup quarter-finals. People are on the edge of their seats here in Genoa. Heaven knows what it's like back in Ireland. O'Leary scores the quarter-finals of the World Cup. It defies belief. It really defies belief. But it's always looked as if it was going to go to penalties. It's a horrible way to lose a game, but a great way to win one. <laughs> the host's dream is still alive. Three wins out of three. No goals conceded. Rugged Uruguay are next in the Olympic Stadium. English referee George Courtney has his hands full until Italy's hero delivers. Nice touch by Baggio. Serena Stilacci. Lightning. 
And there's Serena. 2-0. And they're in the quarterfinal. He's got wrong side of the defender this time, Vojovic. The referee wave play on. Can he get around the second defender, Sanchez? Well, he wrestles him to the ground. Does well, gets the cross in. Here's a great chance. Yugoslavia surely. 1-0. Yugoslavia going to the lead. It's Dragan Stojkovic who gets the goal for Yugoslavia, which could take them through into the quarterfinals. Chendo's throw for Spain. Julio Salinas tries to win it. Here's Roberto. Now a chance. And there's the shot, and it must be required for Spain. Martin Vasquez drove it across the face of goal. And Julio Salinas was there to pounce at the far post. Spain are right back in it. Stojkovic is orchestrating it. But is he going to take it? Yes, he is. Oh! It's the best free kick we've seen in the World Cup. Poolside of England's hotel in Bologna. ITV give Paul Gascoigne a belated birthday cake. His free kicks have the sweetest quality about them. Oh, <laughs> I just love chocolate. Looks as though it might be a Gascoigne... Uh, Gascoigne shot. A little chip in there. And play! And scores! A fantastic finale! Agony for Pridon! What an amazing finish! We've got a big heart in the new camp, and um, we're, we're done it, Jim. Um, we're through the next round, and... Uh, I can just imagine now what the social club's going to be like. <laughs> We're all having a disco. Oh. Suddenly, England believe they can dance all the way. The first seeds of Gazamania are sown. The old bulldog snarling and confident. Next, it's Cameroon in the quarterfinals. The quarterfinals. Holders Argentina can't compare with the team of 86, but they hold on against Yugoslavia for an amazing penalty shootout. The captain of Argentina, Diego Maradona, is next on the hot spot. Maradona to make it 3-1, and he's failed. And he looks to the skies. And God wasn't on his side this time. Savicevic scores, and it's 2-2. Two, two. And two each to go. Pedro Trollio. And he's missed as well. And all of a sudden, it's turning sour for the world champions. This to make it 3-2. was the most nervous penalty I think I've ever seen and it is still 2-2 and Argentina are alive again the man entrusted with the last of the five penalties for Argentina is De Zotti. can he score yes he can and Argentina go 3-2 in front if he scores we go to sudden death if he misses Argentina will go through Hadzi Bejic and he saved it, and Goyka Chia takes Argentina into the semi-finals. What an extraordinary turn of events. And Argentina's luck holds good. Argentina have won few new friends. They've relied too much on a Maradona in decline, but they're still standing. Now, very special moments for the Republic of Ireland squad as they arrive in Rome. The peace of the Vatican is followed by the bear pit that's the Olympic Stadium. Carthy with the throw. Aldridge takes it down on the chest. McGrath delivers a lovely cross towards Quinn. Oh, my word! What a start that could have been for Ireland. Baggio. 
Great run by Baggio. He links with Schilacci. The layoff. Eventually from Giannini to Donadoni. Bonner saves it. Schilacci. He's done it again. And that is the final whistle. Ireland's World Cup dream is over. But it has ended for the Irish in glorious praise of their performance, although sadly it has ended in defeat. I'll be, I'll be the Irish manager, I think, probably as long as the people of Ireland want me to stay. And uh, when I feel there's a change in their attitude, then I'll leave before we fall out, you know. But I've no intention of going An emotional welcome as they return to Dublin. Their first World Cup has been a magnificent adventure. Jack Charlton has a place in Irish folklore. Easy run for Berthold. Cadlitz wins. Holbenets can't get there before Bremer. He's popped up in a midfield position from the back. Klinsman trying to get away from Kosian. Klinsman's done one, he's done another. Klinsman's in there. Great run by Klinsman, he's down, it's a penalty. So it's Mateus against Stayskal. Brilliantly hit. And the flags fly. They look as if they're on the way again. If anybody felt this was going to be easy pickings, well, they know it's not. But here's Pierce looking to improve that situation now. Lineker towards the near post. And a good header down in. Flax has done it. Now Pagal. Miller. Miller. That's going to be a penalty. Miller's brought down. I think by uh, Gascoigne. And now there's a great opportunity for Cameroon to embarrass the English. It's 1-1. One, one. Miller's up front there, the man who uh, can, made us concede the penalty, and he's on again, he's put it through for a kick -in. Cameroon are in the lead. The man, Miller was the man who made the opening and suddenly a crisis has developed for England and a disaster is beckoning. Back in there towards flat but Massing got up well to make the header in. A touch in again and that's surely a penalty as Lineker is brought down. Lineker's chance to make it 2-2. Here he goes. It is 2-2. Two -two. Mark Wright is shedding blood for the cause, but he won't go off and continues as a right winger in extra time. Keke with the little dummy. Gascoigne, though, picking it up for England. A nice little surging run by him. What has he got forward? He's got Lineker forward. Lineker now. That's another penalty. That's got to be a penalty. It is a penalty. Lineker brought down, and now a golden opportunity for England. He's done it once. Can he do it again? Gary Lineker. 3-2. For the first time ever overseas, England are in the semi-finals, despite getting the fright of their lives from the Cameroon. Now, it's West Germany, Robson against Beckenbauer. Gascoigne must get to grips with Matthias. scored four of the six goals Italy have and that's a great run and he was brought down but managed to uh, retain his balance now Viali back towards Giannini good play by him Viali Schilacci has done it yet again for Italy Waldo 
Maradona. Good play again. Alati Kacher on the left. Flipped in towards Kanija. Kanija has equalised. Argentina have pegged Italy back. It's one each in Naples. Carlos Bilardo, the Argentine manager, is in a tortured world of his own. Powerless, he fidgets and frets. But it's the players who now face the thumbscrew of another penalty shootout. It's 3-3 from the spot. Playing for a World Cup final place. Donadoni. Goika Chair has saved it. Donadoni's misery could be compounded now because Maradona, who missed from the spot a few days ago, has the penalty that could nudge Argentina ahead. And he scored! Argentina are in front. The biggest pressure penalty of all now, Aldo Serena. If he misses here, Italy will not go through to the World Cup final. They're 4-3 down on penalties. He has to score this. Bremer's there. Might try and knock it sideways. Bremer's got a marvellous curling free kick. Curled off. And in! England behind. It came off the defender, but Andy Bremer. And Shelton shows his disgust. Penlinica will the bounce come for Lineker? It might come for Lineker! Now a dreadful but very significant moment for Gascoigne, teetering on the tightrope of one yellow card. An over-enthusiastic lunge at Berthold. A theatrical tumble. Another caution means an automatic ban and no place in the final. There's no need to have a word. If he can't take part, Gaza desperately wants England to reach the final. Stephen again. Platt's made a little break into the box. Wolfbrook with the header safely away for the West Germans. And now Wolf. And it came back and Platt couldn't get the rebound in. Riedler. Mateus up ahead of him. Still Riedler. Now Mateus. Stopped that time. Wolfbrook. Both semi-finals go to penalties. There's affection and respect between Robson and Beckenbauer. They know someone's got to be the fall guy. Back home, the streets are deserted as the drama unfolds. Gary Lineker with penalty number one. 1-0 one to England. Frame of E. Shelton. It's there, that's 1-1. One, one. Nation urging Peter Beardsley to stick it in the back of the net, which he's done. Mateus with the shot. 2-2. Two -two. It's the best of five, and if it's level after that, it goes on to a sudden death. David Platt. Into the net again. England 3-2 up. Now, can Peter Shilton save this one? Will Riedler miss it? Will England get a priceless lead? Here we go. It's in there again. Stuart Pearce. Oh, no. A devastating blow for Bobby Robson. Joy for the German fans. And now a big job for Peter Shilton to do with the Germans with a chance to go 4-3 ahead and they have
Chris Waddle comes forward, and the only way England can survive is for Waddle to score. Everybody's sad, everybody's disappointed. We've got tears in the dressing room. I've tried to keep mine uh, uh, from falling. Uh, put on a brave smile, that's all you can do. Um, we've got nothing to be ashamed of. You know, the team can really hold their heads up uh, very high. Now, England go to Bari for the third place playoff against the Italians. It's Peter Shilton's international farewell after 125 appearances. There's a rare lapse of concentration by the master craftsman. He's in trouble here. Italy has scored. Stephen. Dariga. Platt's header. Oh, a magnificent goal. David Platt with an absolutely stunning headed equaliser. And England are deserving. A great run and Skilacci and Skilacci nearly got the ball on the ground and the referee has given Italy a penalty. This, if it goes in, will be Skilacci's sixth goal in the World Cup. And it is Italy two, England one in the final few minutes here in Bari. Final is a dreadful anti-climax, a shoddy advertisement for the great game. Argentina defend, the Germans are uninspired. Klinsmann flawed midway through the second half. Monzon becomes the first player to be sent off in a World Cup final. It's probably the worst final ever. Mercifully, we're spared extra time and the rest. And here's Mateus with one of those surging runs of his to Rudy Bola. He's given a penalty. Chair, a good penalty stopper. Can he stop this one as well? Poised on the line. It's in there! And Bremer has put West Germany into the lead with five minutes left. And that's what it means to them. Lothar Mateus lifts that trophy for West Germany. A competitor every inch of his body on a night of celebration for the West Germans and applause from right around this Olympic stadium. Bobby Robson's last duty is to collect the FIFA Fair Play Trophy. England's international reputation has been restored with dignity and style in Italia 90. <laughs>